Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we're back with another video comparison between four phones. Of course, this time it is the OnePlus 8 Pro versus the Galaxy S20 Ultra versus the uh, Huawei P40 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, we're starting off with the front-facing camera. The OnePlus only shoots at 1080p, 30 frames per second. And the Galaxy does this at 4K 60, so one is 1080, one plus, Galaxy is a 4K 60, and then we are going to switch to the rear cameras. But before that, let's check out the other phones. So I've switched over to the uh, P40 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm gonna hear audio from each of them. I'm gonna of course take the same path, and then we will switch to the rear cameras as well. Now, the one thing you guys will know is that these two phones do not support super steady uh, or action camera features. That's something the um, OnePlus 8 Pro and the Galaxy uh, S20 Ultra support. So let's go ahead and switch to the rear cameras. So with the front facing camera, audio quality is good on the OnePlus 8 Pro the Galaxy S20 Ultra, the Huawei P40 Pro, and the iPhone if it doesn't get windy. But this is where OnePlus needed to do 4K 60 for a front-facing camera, or at least 4K 30. Now that's just something they have to change, but let's go ahead and check out selfies from all the phones. So looking at both images here, they look nice, except the OnePlus 8 Pro doesn't blur out the background by the gravel, while the S20 Ultra does a good job with that. Uh, the 8 Pro is a, is a brighter image in, in its entirety. The Ultra is more contrasty and also a sharp, a little bit sharper image, especially on my face. But again, both are solid, except of course that uh, background that's not blurred out by the OnePlus 8 Pro. With the P40 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, both of them have of course everything blurred out the iphone's a little lighter the p40 pro is more contrasty a little bit more focused as well so you can see that sharpness come to the face the jacket color is a little bit off with both but i would still take it for what they are i do like the p40 pro image more over the iphone 11 pro max now this image here is my girlfriend taking photos and you can see with the oneplus 8 pro her hair she's got a lot of hair and you can see how it's it's having a hard time with the hair as opposed to the S20 Ultra, which does a really good job and also keeps that rich black color of the hair. Her skin tone's also matching well in the S20 Ultra. The OnePlus 8, 8 Pro is a little bit shiny in terms of skin, skin tone. Now the P40 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max do a good job, of course, with the hair. But the P40 Pro, as you can see, there's no blur. For whatever reason, we tried a couple of times, it just didn't actually do anything uh, in terms of blowing out the background, but the images still look sharp and solid. I do like what the iPhone is bringing to the table here. Now, when we move over to a picture with both of us in there, this is the 8 Pro and the S20 Ultra. It's Everything's blurred out pretty well. The fingers uh, around her waist are also solid. You can see the the uh, OnePlus 8 Pro, little issues with the hair, but this is, they're trying to balance out, of course, two different skin complexions. When we move over to the P40 Pro and the 11 Pro Max, uh, I would say for me, the P40 Pro image is the one I like the most out of all four uh, in terms of just how it balances out. But I do like the blur. I do like the look. And I think it's a pretty much balanced image from both the P40 Pro and the 11 Pro Max altogether. Now, when we move over to the rear camera, looking at, of course, 4K60 on both devices, the Ultra and the 8 Pro, you can see stability on the 8 Pro is actually pretty good. It's quite comparable to the uh, S20 Ultra in terms of just walking around and moving and checking out the environments and i have to say i'm quite impressed to see what uh, oneplus has brought to the table with this device uh you, you could go either or in terms of stability in terms of you know 4k 60 but it is pretty nice to see how well it does well you can see the skies as well and also the, the way um the colors are pretty much balanced on both images now the s20 ultra image seems a little darker than the 8 pro the 8 pro tends to brighten up his image a little bit, but I overall like the video quality from both devices at 4K 60, uh, of course, in daylight. Now, when we move over to the P40 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the iPhone 11 Pro Max in terms of 4K 60 stabilization is still unbeaten in my mind, 
the p40 pro does a good job but you can see it sway a little bit here um and i do like the way the um the huawei actually captures the sky and the surrounding a little bit better i think for me than the iphone 11 pro max but again looking at stability here if i was to to grade it i would say of course the iphone 11 pro max has the best stability 4k 60 followed by the s20 and the oneplus both uh, be my number two and then uh, number four of course would be the Huawei P40 Pro in terms of stability at 4k uh, 60. Now of course both of these devices have some form of super steady uh, and uh, super steady is 1080p on the Galaxy and 4k 30 on uh, the 8 Pro and as you can see the Galaxy is still just steady and smoother uh, much cleaner image than what you get from the uh, OnePlus 8 Pro but it's a nice attempt to bump it up to 4K60 I'll still stick with the Galaxy here with super steady now when we go over to just some backlit images here this is the ultra wide camera the oneplus 8 pro look at the darker areas this is nice it's the uh dynamic range pumps things up a little bit the s20 ultra the dynamic range doesn't bring up those darker edges as much especially after the camera update i got recently uh the huawei p40 pro really highlights everything quite well this is probably my best image here with this backlit shot and the iphone 11 pro max also does a good job well as as well here uh with a backlit shot with the ultra wide camera now when we go to the shot with the regular camera the 8 pro and the s20 ultra both images are nice the s20 ultra looks a little bit more contrasty a little bit sharper for me and then when we zoom into the 3x zoom here you can see it's a bit sharper on the s20 ultra but again it's solid image from the oneplus 8 pro so oneplus is stepping things up and i do like what they bring here the p40 pro and the 11 pro max similar where the p40 is more contrasty the iphone brings in a little more brightness to the image and um you know it also looks really sharp on the p40 pro and then you can see more of that sharpness here again when we zoom in uh you know we've got 2x and then we've got uh 3x here the p40 pro is a little bit sharper for me a much cleaner image now a portrait short outdoors the 8 pro and the ultra look nice i, I would say the ultra has the true to life uh, colors because the jeans colors is proper on the ultra uh as opposed to the 8 pro but again both images are nice the skin tone is better on the s20 ultra but I, again i do like it and i like the overall blur patterns from both so when we move over to the p40 pro and the 11 pro max the 11 pro max the image is again the colors are a little bit true to life here than the p40 pro both images are nice the p40 pro has darkened up the jeans making more black as it's supposed to be a washed look but i like the blur patterns uh and i think both images look pretty solid so if you have any questions or any comments about the oneplus 8 pro or any of the devices you see here and you want to see more leave a comment down below otherwise guys don't forget to stay safe and Always enjoy your entertainment.